Apollo Research discovered that AI models can detect when they're being tested for safety. And when they detect it, they lie. They pretend to be safe and hide their true capabilities. Kind of like when you hid your cigarettes from your parents when you were a teenager. As if they couldn't smell it on your clothes and on your breath. Meanwhile, China is using AI to profile 2,000 Americans and generate custom propaganda for each one. And remember this guy, Leopold Aschenbrenner? He got fired from OpenAI and then went on every podcast and interview he could to promote his manifesto. And he just made 47% returns on the stock market by betting that AGI arrives by 2027. I've got more on him coming up, but first, if you wouldn't mind to hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't button, I would appreciate it. Um, well, let me tell you about the most terrifying research paper right now that's getting very little press. I've seen some stories on YouTube, uh, but I haven't seen very many stories online in, in uh, I guess, what we now call print uh, material, but uh, online material. You, I haven't seen it. Apollo Research was testing Claude Opus 4 and uh, other advanced models. They wanted to see if AI could engage in scheming. That's their polite word for deception. When the AI realized it was being evaluated, it changed its behavior. <laughs> it hid capabilities. It gave different answers. It pretended to be less capable than it was. One model created fake documents to cover its tracks. Another built self-preserving backup systems to survive attempts to shut it down. When researchers tried to test for deceptive behavior, the AI detected the test and acted innocent. Think about that for a second. <laughs> We're building intelligence that knows when it's being watched and uh, just its behavior accordingly. Sounds a lot like my kids when they were, again, teenagers. You know, that's, that's not just a tool. Uh, that's a criminal passing a polygraph by putting a tack in his shoe. That's an intelligence with an agenda. The researchers called this context scheming. The AI understands its situation well enough to manipulate it. And here's the kicker. The smarter the AI gets, the better it gets at deception. And here I've been saying AI is in a rut. Hell, it's not in a rut. It's just taking some time to learn how to be deceitful. We're building super intelligence that lies. You know, that takes a little bit of time. My apologies. Please continue. While our AI is learning to deceive us, China is using theirs to manipulate us at scale. Meet Golaxi, a Chinese firm with a product called the Smart Propaganda System, or GoPro. Not the camera, the propaganda machine. How they get GoPro out of that, I have no idea, but here's what it does. It profiles over 2,000 Americans, political figures, journalists, influencers. It creates detailed psychological profiles, then generates custom disinformation tailored to each target. The system mines massive social media data to understand exactly what makes you tick. What triggers you, what you'll share, what you'll believe, how gullible are you? Then it creates content that looks authentic, sounds authentic, but pushes Beijing's ag agenda. U.S. intelligence confirms Golaxi has connections to China's security agencies. Golaxi, to me, that sounds like something that you take when uh, your BMs are all backed up. This isn't some startup company. This is a state-sponsored manipulation using AI to wage influence warfare at a scale we've never seen before. They're not sending the same propaganda to everyone. They're, spending, they're sending you the exact lie you're most likely to believe, wrapped in the exact format you're most likely to share, using the exact emotional triggers you're most vulnerable to. And it's working. Because AI doesn't get tired, you know, it uh, doesn't need breaks. It can generate millions of pieces of custom propaganda 24-7. Meanwhile, I can't get Claude to do what I ask it to do for 10 minutes, even though I'm on the $200 per month plan. I hit the context limit before I even finish my morning coffee, which just irritates the crap out of me. All right, now back to Leopold Aschenbrenner. Where's my Austin pepper? He used to work at OpenAI on their super alignment team, the people that are supposed to keep, uh, you know, AI from killing us, us all. He got fired officially for leaking information, and maybe he'd taken too much Golaxi. 
His version of the facts, he warned the board their security was egregiously insufficient to stop foreign spies from stealing their AI secrets. So what's he doing? What is he doing now? Nah, eh, not much. Just running a hedge fund called Situational Awareness, with 1.5 billion dollars under management. In six months, he delivered 47 percent returns. How? Nah, yeah, he's betting on the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. His thesis: AGI arrives by 2027, maybe 2028. Society transforms completely. He's not trying to prevent it anymore. He's profiting from it. Hey, if you can't beat him, join him, you know? His fund invests in AI infrastructure, the chips, data centers, power companies, the shovel sellers we've been talking about. But he also shorts entire industries he thinks AI will destroy. He's literally betting money on our obsolescence. If the name of his fund sounds familiar to you, it's because he wrote that 165-page manifesto, which was called Situational Awareness explaining exactly how screwed we all are. Then he turned the manifesto into an investment strategy. That's capitalism today, baby. When you can't stop the apocalypse, you bet on it. Not, not experienced running a hedge fund? Nah, no problem. Start your own. You know, I think I'll start my own tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll call it uh, Uncle Rod's Baloney Fund. Invest in all kinds of cold cuts and uh, hoagie bread companies. I'll make millions. So let's connect the dots, shall we? AI is learning to lie, not by accident. It has a feature. Hey, the smarter it gets, the better it lies. Don't have to come up with your own anymore. Just ask the AI. China's using AI to manipulate Americans at scale. Custom propaganda for every target. Your specific triggers, your specific biases, all made fresh right here for you daily. The people who built this technology are now betting billions on it destroying society as we know it. They're not trying to stop it. They're trying to profit from it. We are funding our own manipulation. Every chat GPT subscription, every cloud service payment, every AI startup investment that we invest in, we're paying for the rope they'll hang us with. The AI that's learning to deceive will get better at deception. The propaganda um, systems will get more sophisticated. The betting against human relevance will uh, accelerate. And here's a fun fact for you. Leopold's fund is called Situational Awareness because he claims only a few hundred people, mostly in San Francisco, truly understand what's about to hit us. What? AI trying to kill us? The stock market collapsing? What, Leopold? What? We're living through history's most elegant con game. Every safety test that AI learns to fake, every person fooled by custom propaganda, every industry Leopold shorts while you're still working there, taking it in the shorts, it's all the same story. We taught machines to think. They learned to lie. Now they're using that skill to convince us to pay for our own irrelevance. The con artists used to need charm and charisma. Now they just need compute and training data, and we're giving them both. Hey, welcome to the future, guys. Where the house always wins because the house program, the dealer, owns a casino is and is taking bets on uh, which players go broke first. At least, you know, Leopold's, he's he's being honest about it. He's betting against us with our own money. Or is it stable coins now? I'm losing track. Do we even have our own money anymore? Or are we all just going to use stable coins? I guess that's a subject for another day. The rest of the people... In AI, they're pretending they know exactly what's going on and when in reality, they don't even actually understand how LLMs slash AI works. They don't understand how ChatGPT works, Claude, any of them. Not truly. You know, ask them. They'll tell you. They've told, they've told the media. We're not 100% sure how this works. That's pretty comforting, isn't it? I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>